Hi, welcome back to Forensic Education Series. I'm Mike McCutcheon and I'm going to be your host today. In this episode, we're going to cover one of my favorite evidence processing techniques using magnetic powder on textured surfaces. And so you ask, why do I like magnetic powder? Well, magnetic powder will work better on textured surfaces than traditional fingerprint powder. I've also found with new investigators and students that it's easier to master the skills of magnetic powder quicker than using traditional fingerprint powder. Now before we begin, I'm going to compare two different powders, because powders aren't created equal. If you look at the difference of these two powders, this powder here is much more coarse. The powder here is much finer. The finer the powder, the better your fingerprint is going to be, because it's going to be the powder that's actually touching your print. So we want to make sure that we use the finest powder possible. Now magnetic powder is applied with a magnetic brush. The magnetic brush has a magnet in the tip, and when brought towards the magnetic powder, it's going to attract the powder onto the tip of the brush, and then you would brush it on your evidence to develop your print. When you're done, you're going to pull the plunger to let the powder fall back into its receptacle. Go back and clean up. And there you have your print. Now the, pro the powder that we're going to use today is going to be a Lin PV powder. And I have some textured items here that we're going to process. The problem with using textured items is when you lift those prints, if you use regular hinge lifters or flat tape, you're going to miss a lot of your ridge detail. Now the items that I have here are textured products. So we have some vinyl siding, we have an orange, we have a piece of wood, and we also have a smooth object, a mug. Just like regular traditional fingerprint powders, magnetic powders come in different colors. So we're going to start with our vinyl siding. Put the applicator to the powder. I'm going to brush over our items. Now I'm going to do this more than once because I'm going to show you some different techniques to lift these once they're developed. I'm going to go back and do our cleanup. So now we're going to try to develop a print on an orange. It's a textured surface. There's lots of grooves in it. We're going to try with our magnetic powder. Okay, we processed our orange. We're going to go back and clean up. Now we also have the mug. And the mug here is dark colored, so we're not going to want to use our black powder. So we're going to use a gray powder. Magnetic powder comes in all different colors. It comes in the fluorescent, so you would need your alternative light source to view it but we're just going to use a gray powder to develop our prints on our dark mug. A lightly brush. Now we see that our print is developed. Do our cleanup. And we have our print. Now I've also found that you can use magnetic powder on plastic in rubber. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to develop a print on the inside of a glove. So we'll take our scissors. I'm going to cut our glove. Just 
so that the inside is exposed. We're going to take our magnetic powder, going to apply it to the inside of the glove, just as we would any other object. We'll go back and do our cleanup. Now you can see the ridge detail in the glove here and in the glove here. Now that we've developed our prints on different objects, we're going to use different techniques to lift them. Now if you use a flat regular tape, to try to lift the print off a textured surface, you're going to miss a lot of that ridge detail. I'll show you what I mean. So this is our regular tape. We have our print here on the siding. I'm going to lift it. I'm going to place it on the backing. Now what you'll see is we left a lot of our fingerprint on the vinyl siding because it didn't get down into the grooves of the siding. So we left a lot of our evidence behind. The solution to that is we're going to use a gel tape. This is diff lift tape. So instead of just laying on top of the fingerprint, we're going to be able to push this into the grooves of the tape. I'm going to cut our piece. Now it's important when we're putting our diff lift tape on that you only put pressure on the fingerprint because once we push this onto our backing card you want to make sure that there's enough adhesive still left on the tape to stick to your backing card. So we're going to push that into the grooves. We're going to stick that to our backing card. Now you can see the difference between the diff lift tape and how much detail we have compared to using a flat standard tape. Now another technique that you could use either on the siding or on the orange is we're going to use the Accutrans. Now Accutrans is normally used to get tool marks impressions off of a door or a window that's been pried open. But you can also use it for fingerprints. So we're going to put our tip on. And today I'm just using a white. So we're going to locate our fingerprint. You're going to move it around on your on your fingerprint to make sure it gets into those grooves. An orange is very textured so there's lots of dips and grooves. You can also use it on the vinyl siding. And we're going to do the same. We're going to make sure we're moving it around, not touching the print, but ensuring that it's getting into all the grooves. Now the Accutrans is going to take about two to four minutes to dry. I have one here that we've already dried that I put on before we started. I'm going to peel that back. And now you can see the ridge detail that's left. Now as I've stated before, you can use your magnetic powder on smooth surfaces as well. We did our cup here with the lighter gray powder instead of the black. It's a smooth surface so that you can use a regular standard tape or a hinge lifter.
So now we've processed our products. We're ready to send them to the lab. We use different techniques using the diff lift tape and using the Accutrans. The best advice I can give is to practice. Practice using your magnetic powders and your different techniques of lifting and you'll be successful. You can catch more tips and tricks on lindpv.com. And if you have any other questions, you can email me at mmccutcheon at londonderrynh.org. Thank you.